stores, including Harvey's Downtown, Hundred Oaks, and Madison. Frank Cuellar Sr. talks about his family's famous El Chico Mexican restaurants. The spices is what's going to make the food taste good. Visit the El Chico restaurant at Rivergate Mall. Hello, we have partly cloudy skies this morning. Going to have a good day today. Going to cloud up by tonight with some rain. It's 39 degrees. The 826 News Queue, I'm Mary Glenn Lassiter. The Constitutional Convention wants to wrap things up, but to do that, they need more money from the taxpayers. We'll see after this. Four men in a rock and roll band. Fire night in the morning we land. Something exciting is happening in rock and roll. All over the country, people are listening to a band called Chilliwack. Dreams, dreams, they're all coming true now on Mushroom Records and Tapes. Available at Cats, Harvey's, and Morris Sound Centers. It's 828 from the queue. Well, first they say yes, then no. Now it's back to yes again. The Constitutional Convention will ask for more funds to wrap up their business. The convention, authorized last year by the Tennessee voters, has already cost taxpayers $670,000. Well, the odds appear something like 99 to 1 that criminal appeals judge Charles Galbraith will willingly resign. The Judicial Standards Commission must now decide on whether or not to remove him. But the Q, in an effort to hear from both sides verbatim, contacted both judges. Galbraith was ready to talk. Doctor, however, wasn't. Her secretary first told us she was out to lunch yesterday when we called back. We were told she was out of the city for the rest of the week. But at any rate, Judge Galbraith says he won't resign and he expects impeachment. I did intend to retire, but uh, in any event, I'd whether it's by a fellow judge or uh, the Judicial Standards Commission or newspapers or whoever, I don't want anyone telling me to retire. That's a decision I'll make on my own uh, without any pressure from those who, uh, for reasons sufficient to themselves, do not want me to remain a judge. There's speculation, but the controversy continues. When your driver's license expired, you had to pay an extra dollar, you complained. Maybe you'd feel better if you knew where the dollar went. It could help you out. The money went to beef up the state's highway patrol's manpower on interstate highways. A new patrol unit has been assigned to scan our 950 miles of interstate, and Governor Blanton says that's a first for Tennessee. This is another first for Tennessee. There's not another service of this kind in the nation. And a number of other states are already studying our program as a possible pattern to meet their own highway assistance needs. This service will benefit not only Tennesseans, but all motorists who travel the 950 miles of interstate highway in our state. The 96 troopers who make up the unit finished special training and headed out with a medical kit, auto repair tools, and a water supply to help you out if you're ever stranded or injured on the highway. The 24-hour service is called AID, which stands for Assistance to Interstate Drivers. Well, the litter problem is really getting bad, especially on the highways. Drink cups seem to be the most popular throwaway trash item. And next month, an intergovernmental committee will send a report to the president concerning this. Empty soft drink and beer containers littering the landscape constitute a serious national problem. The Interagency Resource Conservation Committee has concluded, among other things, that a deposit of at least five cents on each one of these drinks to induce purchasers to return their empties is an effective way to reduce this litter. So EPA wants us to deposit and clean up our act. In sports news, the nation's top-rated college basketball team will be in action in its own tournament tonight. Number one, Kentucky, will host Portland State and Freeman Williams in a first-round game. Charlie Finley says he'll initiate talks next week on the controversy over the proposed shift of his Oakland A's to Denver. Both Finley, the former owner, and Marvin Davis, who purchased the baseball team, have been slapped with a temporary restraining order preventing them from shifting the franchise to Denver. The Metro weather cue okay for today. The forecast mostly fair for today. Partly cloudy tonight, a 40% chance of rain. For tonight, a 70% chance tomorrow. High today in the mid-60s, low tonight, upper 40s. High tomorrow, low 60s. Winds from the south at 10 today. Right now in Nashville, 39 degrees. 92Q keeps playing better music. Jim O'Brien at 22 before 9 in the morning on Super Q. The Beatles' Love Songs LP was the featured album last week on 92Q. Chosen to win a copy of the LP from the cards received are... You all have a copy of the Beatles' Love Songs LP waiting for you here at 92Q. Come on, fellas. The time will go a lot faster if you sing while you work. So let's hear it. Be, be, snare, be, be, snare. What else can we sing? Oh, what fun it is to try. What 
Want an all-white Chevrolet under your tree? Get in on the white Christmas sale at E.B. Smith Chevrolet's Second and Woodman. Some shops carry a camera or two from the Minolta line. Others may carry the lenses, and if you shop around, you're bound to find a shop that carries some of the Minolta flashes and accessories. Photographic Systems Unlimited, 2804 Bransford, a block off Thompson Lane. Be right for day or night at Kane Sloan's Junior World. Choose the clothes that suit your style at Kane Sloan's Junior World. With Kane Sloan's holiday bonus plan, you can charge now and pay next March. Ninety-two Q plays better music at sixteen minutes till nine. The Q reminds you you can help the fight against cystic fibrosis by volunteering your time and talent to the Tennessee chapter of the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Just call 297-3582. You're on your way. Right now, it will be becoming partly cloudy, rain probably for the weekend. Bad news, but it is 39 degrees. The 853 News Queue, I'm Mary Glenn Lassiter. And some good news this morning, the crime statistics are in and Tennessee looks pretty good. That story, coming up. Sick of paying parking lots, buying gasoline. Tired of fighting traffic and the same old dull routine. Looking out for little cars that you can park between. Six minutes till nine from the queue. Good news this morning from the FBI. The statistics are in, and serious crime in Tennessee's four largest cities declined the first nine months of this year. Here in our city, crime was down number-wise by 2,882. That was the largest decrease, followed by Chattanooga, Knoxville, and Memphis. When you paid that extra dollar to renew your driver's license this year, you complained. You wanted to know where it was going. Well, now you can know. And Commissioner Joel Plummer says the men are definitely qualified. was due to assist the motoring public, their appearance, and their expertise in their jobs will in many instances be the only impression the millions of visitors have of Tennessee. And for that reason, we have selected the most qualified persons available and given them the best training and equipment with which to accomplish this mission. The 96 troopers who make up the unit finished special training and headed out with a medical kit, auto repair tools, and a water supply to help you out if you're ever stranded or injured on the highway. The 24-hour service is called Aid, Assistance to Interstate Drivers. Well, what's Christmas without a Roman candle? Well, fireworks and the holiday season go together for many people, and our neighbors in Williamson County are no exception. The fireworks dealers there shot down a ban that could have prevented their sales this year. Attorney H. William Scott. What we did was to file a... Uh, complaint for declaratory judgment asking the court to take a look at the 1951 private act which uh, refers only to Williamson County. So the order frees all dealers in that county to continue the sale of firecrackers, sparklers, rockets, and Roman candles. The farmers are still upset. Higher support prices is their issue, and for the last week, they've gotten national attention. Yesterday at a news conference, President Carter offered his support to the strike, but said he opposes a guaranteed profit for farmers. The farmers agree with that. Here's a spokesman. I don't think we want really a guaranteed income. I think what farmers want today, I think they want an opportunity to produce, and they want an opportunity to have a good income. And I think farmers think that through a number of factors, this opportunity probably has decreased in the last few years. And I think this is really the problem. I don't think anybody wants a guaranteed income. The president talked about the issues involved and then speculated on the strike outcome. I doubt that many of the farmers involved will actually stop producing crops. It would be a very a hard blow on themselves. It would be a, a self-sacrificial effort and perhaps would hurt their families more than they... Uh, can bear. So the strike activity continues, but the consumer has not felt the results at the table, at least not yet. Christmas shopping can be hectic, unless you're going to be in the Orlando, Florida area. Then you can take your troubles and your money to Fran Griffin. She's a professional shopper. You give her your money to buy the presents, you pay her an additional $30 fee, and she'll do all the buying. Mrs. Griffin says business is so good that she's not had time for her own Christmas shopping. 
In sports news, this year's participants in the Rose Bowl, Michigan and Washington share at least one thing in common. They were both beaten during the regular season by the Minnesota football team. The Gophers upset Washington 19-17 to and then topple Michigan 16 to nothing. Minnesota coach Cal Stoll was asked to predict a Rose Bowl winner. He chose Michigan but disagreed with odds makers' prediction of a 14-point Michigan victory. The U.S. captured both the team and individual titles in the third annual U.S.-Japan Collegiate Golf Match in Tokyo today. The American eight-man team defeated Japan 32-8 in team competition. The Metro weather cues satisfactory. The forecast fair today, partly cloudy, a 40% chance of rain tonight. Rain tomorrow with a 70% chance. High today warm, mid-60s, low tonight, upper 40s. Tomorrow, low 60s. Right now in Nashville, 39 degrees. WBYQ 92Q